All right, so I think we're live. Um, hello, everybody. We're going to be taking a look at Infinity. Uh, as a lot of you would have probably noticed, we're, um, if you go on the ellenbits.com website, we've got the Legend demo server, and we've also got this new thing, this Infinity demo server. Uh, so what is Infinity? Legend, the Legend uh, LM bits is the Allen bits which everyone is used to. It's the the Python back end with the Vue.js front end, um, and you can you know each extension is its own contained folder with a bunch of files in, and uh, you can you know clone a folder and you can make a new extension on it. However, this new thing, Infinity, is um, Allen bits rewritten in Go by Fiat Jeff, and it makes building an extension uh, incredibly quick and um and easy uh uh so yeah so fit jeff if you could like tell us a little bit about infinity and what it is and and, and why you made it and um and then we'll have a little look at it as well well uh, yeah uh i made it because uh three three things one is that python asynchronous stuff uh was bothering me i didn't like it you know i had to make it go so i so i made it <laughs> and also the, the 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 way to install python uh, apps is is true error prone things go wrong because of the dependencies so i, I figured out the go would produce a, a single binary that is would be easier to install for people and the third more important thing is the extension stuff because we wanted to allow anyone to have to create their own extensions without passing through their through the, the github repository and having to be merging into the source code and so i did this thing that is the extension runs in a lua sandbox and it has access to the Bits core through through exposed functions so what's great about this is um because it sees lua files which we'll take a little look at a moment somebody can make an extension and then literally go to the Allen bits telegram group drop in a url and say here's my extension and then within a few clicks people can have it running on their own um Allen bits install and experiment with it um it's absolutely fascinating i love i mean one of you know the reasons we made Allen bits where we did was just sort of rapid prototype ideas um so if you have an idea for an extension you can you can make them quite easily but like with this new system, I mean, here we are. So we're looking at this Lua file now and it's just so clean and there's no replication of, of, um, of code work. Uh, so this is the Lua file here. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. The basic idea is that you, you host this file somewhere and you come here, you plug the module, you paste the URL to the file and then this will run this and you take this information here, for example, the models uh you can have multiple models here each one will be shown here as a table and you can add stuff to the table and add, add the stuff um, delete anyway all these things come automatically done and you can have these actions that are public uh so anyone on the internet on the internet can call these actions they can pass parameters and then something happens here in the local code you define it from here you can like create invoices or you can modify the, the models, create uh, entries and delete, update, etc. Basically, this is the core of the... Uh, or you, can, you also have these triggers. They're like, when a payment is received, uh, you can act on it, some, do something about it. And there are all the triggers. Uh, so but for, the, for, the, for those who didn't see, because it was so quick, like by copying that link, into LM bits and then launching that um what do you call them don't call them plugins or extensions what do you call them not apps uh, modules. modules there we are modules <laughs> yeah by yeah, by um by, it, anyway <laughs> yeah, yeah. well we we so i mean we noticed that pretty much all like alex all LM bits extensions they're like a back-end form and a, you know so you can you know create a record and then a table um and this is the back end we can see now and then quite often a front end page as well uh which is the the sort of shareable page which you share with the rest of the world um so with this particular extension what's it going to do oh this one is like a demo extension that i did just to see if it worked and what it does is it allows you to register a bunch of articles and 
like the Bitcoin Audible, you know, this Bitcoin Audible vote page that has this, yeah. these articles that you can vote in and the first ones will, will be read first. And it uses that in bits, by the way. And <laughs> here you can add like a bunch of articles and we get a page uh, which you can vote. So let me add two here. Right. So before, so you know, while you're doing that, before we would have to, you know, copy the code for a, a sort of extension, and then you would have to go in and edit the code, and it would be for the for that entire backend page. But all this has just been magically generated from just all from this Lua file, this whole backend thing which we're looking at now. Yeah, and and then we have this. Oh wow. Yeah, this is an HTML uh, file that, like, this was manually, this was not automatically generated. Yeah. This is this HTML that I wrote manually. We, we didn't get to the aut automatically generating HTML yet. Uh, and all it does is that it shows, it calls this, this action, get articles, which does, the only thing it does is return the articles. We can call it from here too, right? And, and here you can call vote. It will, it will call this vote method uh, action uh, and return uh, an invoice. And here we can mm -hmm. vote on this. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> returns the, this is very good UI, as you can see. I mean, with a few. If we vote here, paid invoice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this should work. So oh, we get nice. a notification here, and there is this notification stuff built in like this. We emit an event that is can be listened to from the HTML or from somewhere, from somewhere else. And if we refresh, the vote is here. Nice. nice. And here it was edited too, like the vote. So that's all done asynchronously. Yeah, all done asynchronously. When the payment receive trigger is, is called, uh, it calls here like this function that sets changes the the entry for this and it meets the nice. event. And also, if I go to my LMBits wallet, the payment's here, wow. and that's it. That's so cool. I mean, like, so for me, instantly, I'm thinking. Um, that this Infinity Go version of LMBits. So Ibex, for example, the bank in Guatemala, they're using LMBits and they're offering um, uh, a single service, which is where they have a point of sale. You use the TPOS extension LMBits, and um, it's a front end point of sale, and they, they give it to a shop, then they can accept Bitcoin, and then the shop can then go to Ibex and they can redeem for Fiat for currency. Um, and uh, currently they're using our legend version of LMBits. We have all these other extensions packaged in and they've had to go in and kind of like, you know, strip down the code. Whereas for them, you know, it'd be so easy for them just to have that Lua file and that front end um, HTML page. And, uh, you know, with a few CSS libraries, they can make it look all fancy and like a point of sale. And um, uh, similarly with your, your, the, the example you gave there, you know, we can include uh, Bootstrap or um, even Quasar as well has some front end stuff so you can make it look all pretty. Uh, and do QR yeah. codes and whatever else. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry for the noise. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, LSB, uh, this Infinity still has the, the APIs and if someone wants to integrate using the APIs, still works. And yeah, but this is a uh, good for, yeah. It works for this, works for the rapid prototyping. One one use case that I think it's interesting is that on the on the ex legend extensions we have to accommodate all use cases possible. So we have these extensions that have a lot of options, settings, etc. That try to accommodate everybody. And here we can just have very simple like this complicates the code and introduces bugs, etc. Here we can have very simple code with hard-coded parameters, etc. That 
if someone wants a different thing, they can just they can just modify the, the, the plugin code directly, the, the module code directly, instead of adding an, an option, etc. Yeah, so I mean, they could just they can just fork the Lua and the um, the front end HTML page, and then they could. Um, I mean, you are you host you're hosting them on the, the one of those like GitHub.io type things, are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So really easy to, to to host those files, and then just point point your own bits to them, and then bring in your custom stripped down extension. It's very exciting. Why a, a use case which I see for it, which I'm looking forward to, is um, we've been talking in RL and Bits chat about doing essentially doing a hack day in Lisbon, maybe towards the Lisbon, Portugal, towards the end of January. And uh, I, I think with a, a couple of, you know, you've got a good couple of working demos already in the repo uh, for Infinity for the extensions. Um, but, but very easily, you know, we could teach people how to build on it. And then within like a hack day type scenario, within an hour or two, they can have a, a fully working extension. Um, without having to like navigate through. So if I, um, uh, I think I could probably just pull this into here for those, there we are, you can probably see this, can't you here? Uh, so this is like, you know, the legend version of Ellen Bits and then say these are all different extensions and then they're in folders, which is kind of nice. But, you know, if you open it up, um, we've got all these Python files and then we've got these template files and then this index file here, this is the the file where the the, the that, that back end page which you saw for the plugin. So there's a lot to kind of like scan through and edit in order to build your extension. Whereas, whereas with Infinity for rapid prototyping extensions, um, and not just rapid prototyping as well, I mean, making extensions, is, it's so quick. Um, what's the fastest you've made an extension in Infinity? I think it was 20 minutes, right? Or wow. it's 20 minutes <laughs> that I, I was trying to do. <laughs> Record a demo, but it was not very, very good. Anyway, demo from 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 zero to an extension. That's amazing. So this is, and on that on that note, this is kind of like an introduction to Alan Bits Infinity, which is this new, incredibly powerful tool for Jeff's created for us all. And um, I can't wait to get my hands dirty and start building on top of it. Uh, but I think we're going to also drop in this. Um, uh, YouTube will drop uh, on the channel. We'll, we'll drop uh, a bunch of examples of the other extensions um, and little videos and, and, and a, a video, like you say, like of, of building ex extension from from nothing to finished extension in like twenty minutes, half an hour. We'll, we'll drop those into the YouTube as well. So watch out for those. Um, but yeah, really exciting stuff, man. Thank you very very much for that for building that. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very cool. much. Well, we'll, um, uh, yep. Yeah, so great. Everybody check it out, play around with it. Um, it's, uh, we're still beta, aren't we? Or is this production ready? Oh, I don't know. I think people <laughs> can, can start playing with it. But like it's missing, for example, the backends, the funding sources, whatever. There's only one. It's relatively easy to, to write, but I only wrote the one I was using to test. So yeah. Is that where is that where some contributors could pop in and help? Maybe like building those um, uh, connecting funding sources if they take what you've done so far and just adapt it for. Is it for Sea yeah, Lightning yeah. currently? It should yeah, it's Sparkle. Sparkle yeah, yeah. Which you can run Sparkle on LND anyway, can't you? Can you? Yeah. No. 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 You can. No, I just Sea Lightning. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, someone could go in and they could adapt that for for LND and. Um, yeah, great, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for the, the you know, um, uh, you know, quick look at Infinity and um, everybody else. Check it out, have a play with it, and uh, yeah, uh, go on the Telegram group if you've got any questions. Um, Telegram is Alan Bits, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.